Today I'm going to explain you how can we solve this problem from HackerRank. This problem name is noun divisible subset and the problem statement says that we are given a distinct integers. What we need to do is we need to find the maximal subset of such uh, of s of this given array such that where sum of any two element is not divisible by uh, k. So basically for example here if we are given this array and k is equals to 4 then one of the possible array subset would be this one where if you will add any two elements in this subset they will not be divisible by 4 similarly here and this is the largest one that we can find all right so we are given uh, an array and we are given k we need to find out the length of this largest such subset and the constants here are that the uh, number of elements can be 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 and k is 100 only and each element can be up to 10 raised to the power 9 all right so yeah the most naive approach that we can think of is to try to generate all the permutations and then find out if those permutation uh, i mean any sum of any two elements in those permutation is equals to is divisible by 4 or not but as you can see the number of elements can be as big as 10 raised to the power 5 and generating all the permutations wouldn't be possible so what else we can do here let's try to think all right so i have taken the same example from the problem statement and uh, this array and k equals to 4 so let, let's try to build our uh, algorithm here so what we need to do we need to form a subset a subset means some of this element should be there such that no two elements sum is divisible by this 4 in that subset so what we can do we can always make a decision on a particular element whether this particular element should be in our subset or not and this is what we uh, we are gonna do so when this number is going to be included or any number let's say some ith number is going to be included into our subset then what will happen that means if array of i is going to be included onto our subset then what will happen is the complement of this number will not be uh, included into our subset what does a complement mean here is that some number some number x which when added with this array of i is divisible by k so this number x we'll need to make sure that this is not divisible uh, this is not included into our set and let's talk about how can we find the both of these things and now the problem here is that we need to keep track of all the numbers to find whether a particular numbers complement is already there or not and that also is a bit tricky here so let's say for example if we reach some uh, number which is y and we want to find whether some complement of this number is already existing into our subset which when added with y is divisible by 4 so let's say for example if y was 3 we need to find out whether its complement is there or not so what can be so let's say for example this value is z so there can be multiple values for z so basically we will need to keep uh, we will we will need to make sure because for its uh, when we we are talking about the divisibility we are checking whether two sum uh, the sum of two elements can be either 4 or 8 and or uh, 12 and so on like all the multiples of uh, 4 so to check that we'll need to check we'll need to check whether this z uh, can be either 1 or 5 or 9 and so on so basically as you can see there are a lot of values that we need to check then this process becomes a bit complex all right and this is what we need to think of that how can we optimize this particular pa uh, part so let's talk about this particular uh, case where we have a value, one, a value as 3 and another as z so as we have seen that z can have multiple values which when added with 3 becomes divisible uh, this sum becomes divisible and uh, so we need to find out what are the common things in those uh, cases here we can have the well, it can be 1 or 5 or 9 or 13 so if you cl look closely all these value when they are divisible when they are divided by 4 
they all gives uh, they all are giving a reminder as one so now you can see that basically the complement of a number is some value whose number uh, which when divided by this particular k the reminder when added to this particular value is also divisible so as you can see here we will get one for all of these cases and then when we add these to three this becomes four and this is divisible by k in fact this value itself can be in some other form like for example if we'll take 10 then we'll f we'll need to find if we need to find out all the complements of this particular 10 then we can simply also take mod of this value that means this will become 2 and then we will need to find the complement in context of 2 in rather than in context of 10 which is equally uh, which is also equivalent and this can easily be derived from this fact that the modulo of sum of two values can be also written as the modulo of uh, individual values when added together gives the same result so now that we we have seen uh, that transforming this given array into its modular form modulo with the k can help us uh, so what we can do we can simply transform this uh, array to the modulo form so let's just write that out so 19 will become 3 10 will become 2 12 will become 0 similarly 10 will also become 2 and 24 will become 0 25 will become 1 22 will become 2 all right so as you can see that all these values are ranging from 0 to k minus 1 that is 0 to 3 all right now as you can see there are only uh, one value of 3 and one one such element whose uh, model is uh, one so we can either pick uh, we can pick either of them but what if there were two uh, two elements of whose uh, modulo with four is three and only one then which one which one we are going to choose obviously we will choose the one which is larger in count so if here we had two such elements whose modulo is three then we would choose three because uh, choosing one once we will choose one we will not be able to choose this uh, set whose modulo is three all right and if one's count was bigger than this one or yeah uh, let's say for example we had uh, five or four one like one 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 and then in that case we would definitely choose uh, this value uh, the ones whose uh, modulo when uh, modulo with four is equals to one how about zero so as you know zero are the ones which are directly divisible by zero uh, directly divisible by k so that means there are two such values so we can only pick a one even if there were three or four or any of them we would only pick one of these values because if we pick two at least then at least th those two can make a sum which is divisible by four because they both are actually divisible by four so we will never be able to include two such values into uh, our subset our valid subset so we will always choo choose the one out of the uh, such um, values whose modulo itself is zero and uh, same goes for two two is also special here because uh, two when added with itself gives you a value which is divisible by k and why is that here because 2 is nothing but uh, k divided by i mean half of the k so basically if k itself is some even number let's say for example if k was 3 then we have uh, and in that case uh, let's say in our uh, modulo array we had certain number of 3s then we would never be able to pick more than one element out of it because if we pick two element then these two itself can make uh, some uh, make the sum which is divisible by six so in case of uh, in case when this modulo value itself is k by two then also we will only pick only one element out of it, out of it as we did for zero so with all these things and edge cases in mind now let's see the implementation i hope the implementation will make the things more clear now so here is the implementation so what i have done i have declared a map here which will keep track of the count of each uh, 
values when modulo with k so what i'm doing is i'm taking all the elements out of this array and taking their uh, modulo with k and then i'm just keeping the count of this uh, x modulo k all right so like for example in this case as we said there can be multiple such values whose modulo is 2 as we have seen here and similarly for 0 and in case if we had multiple such values whose modulo is 3 so we are just keeping that in our map then i have initialized my answer with 0 and i said if m of 0 is greater than 0 that means if there exists some uh, value whose modulo itself is 0 that means that value itself is divisible by 4 for example here we had 12 and 14, 24 then we can only pick one of them so i'm just if if there is there are such values no matter how many we will only increase our answer by one and then i'm doing uh, i am traversing from one to k and checking if m of such value exists or not that means if uh, because i know k can be at max to uh, up to 99 only so i can traverse from one to uh, 99 and see if this modulo value exists or not if the, it does not exist that means if its count itself is zero then i'll just continue otherwise what i'm checking here is if that i plus i itself is equals to k that means this case that we saw here like 2 plus 2 would make uh, would add up, add up to 4 so in that case also we can only pick one value and in the rest of the cases what i can do is i can choose the maximum i, I can like i will always have a uh, value which whose complement also exists or even if it does not exist uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the maximum of both of the counts like the values count and its complements count and then once i have picked up just to make sure that i do not recalculate again then i'm just resetting all these values to zero and hence the answer here and then here i have taken out the maximum value and added it to our answer so in this case when we had multiple so for example let's say when we had six there can be some values whose value uh, whose modulo is two some values whose modulo is four some values whose modulo is one and some with modulo four five and let's say this had uh, 20 and this had 15 so we would choose the elements with the modulo equals to 2 because this if we choose 4 we will not be able to pick its complement which are larger in size so we will not choose uh, 4 here we'll choose 20 similarly in case of 1 and 5 because 1 and 5 are complement of each other so that's what i'm doing here and in the end i'm just returning the answer so yeah uh, i hope i was able to explain you guys and if there is any doubt or any feedback or any suggestion for me, please leave that in the comment section below. And thanks for watching this video guys.